<laughs> Your love is cheap. No, r really, it is. You say you love, and that you are devoted, that you'd do anything, but, but what do you do, actually? C candy? Flowers? Nights out? Those are general actions, not expressions of true devotional love. Look to the church for real love. The giving of the self, the sacrifice of the physical, for the eternal ethereal of love. Sex is just an analog, a tease for that final eternal leap. That's how I show my love. I show it by taking that which I love with me. What? <laughs> you are just a cut and dry little bureaucrat, aren't you? She was not a target of opportunity or anything of the sort, and I'll thank you for not speaking about Carol that way. Yeah? We didn't know each other for long, but tell me you haven't fallen in love after a couple days, too. I wasn't really expecting to fall for her, it just happened. Very organic, really. So I invited her over, everything was going great, we were kissing, and I asked her to wait a minute while I got something. Everyone gets a little nervous on the cusp of the, the expression of love. But her hysterics when she saw the knife were a little over the top, I think. No, I don't see anything wrong. She expressed her love for me with her words and actions. How, how could I express anything less? How could I do less than express the fullest extent of my love for her? It's not as if I killed her or anyone, for God's sake. What do you mean? No, you deluded simpleton, it's not a perversion. If you cook something, you alter its flavor, the character, so to speak. Why would I or anyone dilute or distort such a direct, sacred act as a sharing of love with something so vulgar and dehumanizing as cooking? Carol has the taste of nettle flowers and bright, sharp pennies. Cooking would just hide such things each part a subtle variation on the theme. The chest a symphony of textures, the tongue a dense springing delight, and the smooth, delicate fingers. All right, all right, I'm stopping. Sit back down. Yes, it's love for each of them. Humanity is not built for monogamy, and I don't feel that restriction is healthy. Each of the beautiful, devoted women you stole from me, I love as deeply and truly as anyone alive. Spend a fortune on them, with IV drips, bandages, treatments. Look at them. Not a sore or bruise or laceration on them that was not precisely necessary. As I come to love them more and more, I take more and more of them to me. But, but I never let it go too far. Murder is the ultimate sin, and to do so to a loved one, it's... it's unthinkable. They come to see the true, deep joy of giving and love as I do in time. Molly actually offered her foot to me, weeping tears of joy to give it to me. So I consume the love and flesh of those I adore? How am I so different from you, except for the purity of expression? How can you call me a psychopath, a, a pervert, when... What? Who? Oh. You, uh... <clears throat> you mean Helen. Well, I'm human. I, I mean, I have faults, the same as everyone. I mean, haven't you seen a woman and gotten a bit more, uh frisky than normal? I mean, really, why do you need limbs when you have love? 